Well, the jury's in. The car's totaled. We're uh, we're gonna fix it though. We're gonna do some things to it um, starting today. So I think we're gonna take a little different a different tact with the car this time. Um, the fix is not gonna be perfect. Um, it might not even be good. <laughs> I I can't justify putting six to eight thousand dollars in repairs into the car at this time. The car is just simply not gonna be worth doing that to. However, it runs and drives perfect. So we're gonna have some fun with it. Um, first step is gonna be to pull this dent out, which is massive. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's gonna be part caveman body work, part zen, uh, taking out aggression, and uh, the specialty tools you'll need. Um, I happen to have two of the best tools you have to put a dent out like that, and that's my right foot and my left foot. So between those two things, we should be able to get this going. And uh, let's get started. Well, let's get going. First thing I'm going to do is show you what kind of tools you need. The trunk will have a look in here. The dent will be over on that side there, of course, and uh, we'll get a little close up of that. But let's talk about the tools I'm going to use first of all. There's nothing uh, really special involved in these. I've got a uh, dead blow hammer from Harbor Freight Tools, a uh, ball peen hammer, uh, three body hammers. I actually got those from Eastwood. Those are pretty nice ones. But you can get a set for 40 bucks pretty much everything here for 40 bucks at uh, Harbor Freight Tools, one of those kind of places. Um, I use a couple of 2x4s, a 2x6, some of them have smoothed edges, some sharp edges, and one piece of oak that's a nice solid hardwood. You want the hardwood just because uh, sometimes you need something really, you know, that's not going to deform, other times you want something that will deform a little bit. So, And then just a, a piece of pipe, which is, I may or may not use it, but it's nice to pry against and it makes a good slide hammer too. Uh, Hammer dollies, you'll see how those work. I probably won't use those a heck of a lot until um, the final parts, but the main thing we're going to use now is one of my two favorite tools. Um, one is my right foot. It's a ten and a half New Balance. It's the preferred shoe of auto body uh, dent pushers. Um, you also have the left side version, which is also known as the metric side, and um, that will also work very well at, in deforming metal. So. I'm going to have to jump in here and we'll just start kicking the side of the car. We're going to show you a little bit of the damage on the inside. So you can see right in here how far in this is. It's actually pushed down against the, the floor down here. Now if you look at the other side, that floor is actually quite a bit far away from the... I'll put this here. You can kind of see the difference there. See how far that is away? Over here, it's touching, and that's a mess down there. We got to reel out, so that's pushed up all the way up, all the way up. And when you look at the other side, you can see where that 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 piece here, this right here, is where the floor is. So it got pushed in this way with the bumper of the truck that hit it, and then this is where it hit the floor, right there. So I've got to push all that out, and uh, I'm going to start up here. Just pounding on it with my feet. So we'll get going on that now. See if I can capture it on film. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do. First, you got to get in. It's a it's a comfortable trunk. I can actually lay down completely sideways in five eleven. But that's not what we want to do. We want to keep this right here. Kick that out. Ah, that's hard. Oof. It's moving, just not as fast as I'd like. There we go, that was, a, that was a good one. That's called oil canning there, what you just heard. That's oil cans, where it goes out and goes back in like an oil can. So, it's gonna take some work. Oh, 
All right. Let's see what that got us. That kind of feel on the outside. Find where there's high spots, like up in here. Kind of move it. If I put a block on the outside, it'll help. I'll flatten it. See, so flatten it a little bit. Take the shrinker and go in with this little creases, and the creases on the shrinker. That's what, that's what this works great for is you've got something that's up like this and you have to push it down. The metal that hip in here, if it just gets pushed down, it wants to push out, so you need to shrink it together. And that's what this does. Again, if you put a block in the outside, well, one of the other problems we have We've got this back area straightened out. This comes way in here. You can see that's where the wheel's supposed to be. The fender's supposed to be in. This is in about three and a half inches. So I gotta get this actually rubbed. You can see I can get the hammer up through, but right there it's touches. So when I go over a bump, it touches the tire. So what I'm gonna have to do is get some stuff back here and just pry and pry this all out. You can do this with a slide hammer or a slide puller, but I don't have one of those. So you're gonna use pieces of wood and a hammer. Well, as it turns out, I've got to pull the wheel off so I can get under here and push these out. This this part just didn't exactly do it for me. I don't have enough pulling pressure on the on the tire, so we're gonna pull it off. Now you're gonna hear the neighbors mowing, so you're gonna to get to hear that too, which is pretty cool. This will pop off the hub. That's pretty straightforward. The right size wheel here. Just like on NASCAR. Yank that off. Look at the size of that drum. That is the original drum of this car. That's incredible. It's really poorly adjusted, so I'll probably be fixing that too. <laughs> You can see where the damage is. It's rust proofing there has worked. A little bit hard to get off of there. Oh, not much room in here. But that's what it looks like. So we've got to push this all out. So what I've done here, I've taken your basic just a block of wood in there, and this is a, a jack. Just a scissors jack, like you, uh, every car has, to change a tire. So I had modified this previously with these bars to jack my motorcycle up from underneath. But you can see it's just wedged against the frame there and wedged up against the outside. And we're gonna crank it and push this. So I just got this hooked up, I'll just turn this. This is a guide. As you can see, it's pushed it out here now. Pushed it out there. Now when I release it back in, it'll go back in, not quite as far. Try it that way. So I'll have to move it down. We just did the same thing a couple of times up and over. That's part of it. 
Hi. Um, I have some flyers here. Here's a tip for anyone that's looking at old cars. They say, oh, it's been undercoated. Well, this is what undercoating looks like after a few years. So what happens, as you can see in there, so I can get the focus for you there. That builds up. You can see now that, on this one's not a big deal, but it creates areas where it just collects rust after a while. So if you do have undercoating and it's flaking, you're gonna wanna go in there and get that off. So I'm gonna grab a wire brush and get all that off of there. Because that is bad. Next, we have some gentle persuasion. I like to use this crowbar. And we're gonna fix the seam up in here. Just keeping everything from moving. Just very gently, you know, a little bit of a... That's working. That's gonna help pull this out here. Whew. That's coming along pretty good. Sure is getting a lot straighter. Let me grab that. So before where this was three, four inches in here, now it's you know half an inch. Somewhat straight out there. This stuff needs to come out a lot. That needs to go in. So that this needs to come out and that needs to go in at the same time. Which gets exciting. So we'll see if we can make that happen. And no is the answer to that. That is not gonna happen. I have to get some more pullers and stuff. So that's about the limit of what I can do here. I could straighten all the little bumps out, but I'm not worried about that. Mostly I wanna see if the wheel still hits, which I don't think it will. So I'm gonna spray a little paint on that that I scraped off and we'll put this all back together. Not too bad of an operation so far, a couple hours. A little bit of work on a beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Minnesota, late September, early fall's beautiful. So anyway, let me get this put back together and we'll see where we're at. Perfect. Well, as you can see, the repairs are finished. They're absolutely flawless. Um, there's no way you can even tell what's happened to this car. It, uh, uh, it, it's just it's an amazing piece of body work that I know how to do. Um, you have to get within 50, 60 feet to even tell there's ever been a scratch to it. So. That being said, uh, I think I can still do something to set it off even more. So some pinstripes, maybe some tiki, I could maybe wood grain that whole panel, uh, make it look like a, oh, I don't know, like the ocean. Um, it could be snake skin, dinosaur, I don't know. Hit subscribe, hit like, tell me what your thoughts are. What should I do with this back panel? There isn't much I can do to fix it perfect, so I might as well have fun with it. And that's what we're gonna do. This is gonna become more of an art car. Maybe we'll metal flake the roof, give it an old school custom look, maybe some scallops, some flames. But uh, let's have some fun with it because it still runs and drives good and I still love this thing. So anyway, that's all for today and uh, till next time, we'll talk to you later.